It's actually several things I'm not going to need here. I'm going to remove this style attribute here. I'm going to remove the X and Y. I don't even believe I'll need the XML space. Um, I will need the view box. Oops, I got rid of the end caret with it. I definitely will need the view box. This is probably metadata that you should leave in. So what I know is I have right now an aspect ratio of 19.9 to 22.7. Right now it's going to be gigantic, right? So I want to convert that to a usable, um, you know, appropriately sized box for this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give my SVG some width and height. So I'm going to say width, um, let's say 100 pixels. Let's also say height. 100 pixels, so I want my uh, SVG to conform to the bounds of this width and height. So now you'll see um, it preserves the aspect ratio. It just has it if we look at the at the uh, if we just look at the DevTools console. See how it's it's uh, being contained within the bounding box of 100 by 100, um, but it's preserving the individual aspect ratios of the cards. So now, here's where I talked about why we want the two separate compound paths, because if I wanted to actually kind of dynamically in my JavaScript give each of these cards a, a different color, what I can do is I can um, take my two paths, and actually this is interesting that it, it generated this transform um, separate, separate um, data here, because I don't think I even need that either. That might be a, that might be an entirely separate layer that I didn't even account for. Let's get rid of that. I don't think I'll need that. Yeah, it still looks okay. So I want to give basically each of these paths a fill attribute. So this is going to tell, this is going to tell that path what color we want to fill it with. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this React component accept two props. I'm just destructuring the props in the import here. So I'm going to say fill1 and fill2 are the potential props that it takes in. And the first path is going to um, be filled with the fill1 color that we pass it, the second fill with the second fill color that we pass it. So in my app now, if I pass it fill1, um, let's just say for now red and fill2, orange. Now you can see I have passed it two separate colors.